చెప్పండి స్టార్ట్ చేద్దామా నో పేపర్ నెంబర్ టూ జీరో త్రీ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ పేపర్ నెంబర్ టూ జీరో త్రీ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ఆర్బి స్కేల్ వన్ పిఓ నా విన్ దిస్ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్స్ వన్ వన్ ఆన్వర్డ్స్ నా విన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ద వర్డ్ డైనమిక్స్ నా వర్డ్ ఈజ్ అ వర్డ్ హియర్ డైనమిక్స్ ఈజ్ ద వర్డ్ గివెన్ నా విన్ దిస్ వర్డ్ డైనమిక్స్ నౌ ఇన్ ద వర్డ్ డైనమిక్స్ డివై ఎన్ఏ ఎంఐసిఎస్ నౌ ఇన్ ద వర్డ్ డైనమిక్స్ ఆల్ ద లెటర్స్ ఆర్ అరేంజ్ ఇన్ ద ఆల్ఫాబెటికలీ ఇజ్ ఇన్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద ఆల్ఫాబెటికల్ ఆర్డర్ ఫ్రమ్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ టు రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ యాజ్ దే వెర్ ఇన్ ఎ డిక్షనరీ దట్ మీన్స్ ఆల్ ద లెటర్స్ ఆర్ అరేంజ్ ఇన్ ద ఆల్ఫాబెటికల్ ఆర్డర్ ఆర్ ద డిక్షనరీ ఆర్డర్ దెన్ హెన్స్ అమాంగ్ దీస్ ఎయిట్ లెటర్స్ ఇన్ ద వర్డ్ డైనమిక్స్ అండ్ విచ్ లెటర్ కమ్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వన్ ఏ ఫాలోడ్ బై సి నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ డి నెక్స్ట్ ఐ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎమ్ ఎన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఎస్ అండ్ వై దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ హియర్ దెన్ హౌ మెనీ లెటర్స్ విల్ రిమైన్ అన్చేంజ్ దెన్ కంపేర్ దిస్ వన్ నో ఎమ్ అండ్ ఎమ్ ఇజ్ ఇన్ ఇట్ హెన్స్ ఓన్లీ వన్ లెటర్ రిమైన్ ఎట్ ద సేమ్ ప్లేస్ దట్ ఈజ్ చాయిస్ వన్ ఓన్లీ వన్ దట్ ఈజ్ చాయిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ద ఆన్సర్ దెన్ కమింగ్ టు క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ టూ now in this question number 2 what is the logic here sorry this is paper number 20600 it is not 20355 now it is 20600 paper number 20600 now question number 2 now in this series 1357 2463 5724 572 are the elements are the digits given in this one now i am dividing this sequence into two different parts 1357 is first 1357 and the next sequence is what 246 1357 is one sequence and 246 is the second sequence now 1357 and this one if you compare this one now in this one only 357 is there in the third sequence now i am dividing here first one 1357 and second one 246 and the next one 357 is there as 357 is there from this sequence to this sequence and which element is removed here one that means the left side element has been removed then coming to this one 246 and this one now what is given here 2 and 4 hence which element is removed here now the last that means from the first sequence in each of the next and the element from the left hand side is removed and in the second one the element from the right hand side is removed after this 357 then check out what is there 57 is there now as 57 is there then which is removed here 3 is removed now in this 2 4 which should be removed now 4 should be removed hence what is the element here hence 2 is the element after this 2 again we should take the element from which one from the first one isn't it then in the first term which should be removed here 7 5 should be removed and finally we are left with 7 and 7 that is choice 3 clear now what is the sequence here 1357246 now in the next sequence what happens here the first element and here also first element first element is removed here the last element and the last element is removed then what is the answer here finally 7 that is choice 3 done with this then question number 3 onwards now in this question number 3 and it is based on blood relations m is the only son of q who is this m m is the only son of q if q is here m is the only son of q and q is married to c now q is married to c c is the mother of both y and s as c is the mother of both y and s and y and s now that means y m and s are siblings to each other isn't it and m is the only son which implies that the remaining two persons are daughters and y is and c is the daughter of w and r now this c is the daughter of w and r and so w and r are the parents of this c and c is the daughter of w and r b is the grandmother of y as b is the grandmother of y hence this b should be the mother of q isn't it b is the grandmother of y b is the grandmother of y c is the grandmother of f c is b is the grandmother of y 
and she is the grandmother of whom? She is the grandmother of F. As she is the grandmother of F, none of the daughters of Q is married. Then M is married, and she is the and she is the grandmother of F. Hence, F must be here. Clear now? This is what the information we have. Now this is B. Then, which of the following statements is definitely true with respect to the given information? Y does not have any brother. True or false? It is false because Y is having a brother M. And W is the wife of R. W is the wife of R. True or false? Tell me. W is the wife of R. Now the genders of these two persons is not known. Hence, W can be the wife. R can be the husband of R. And M is the grandson of R. M is the grandson of R is true or false? R's daughter is C, and C's son is M. M is the grandson of R, that is true. And so what is your answer here? Only C, that is choice one. Question number three, choice one. Then question number four, how is B related to C? Yes, tell me how is B related to C? C's husband is Q, husband's mother, that is spouse's mother, mother-in-law. Choice one. Then question number five. How is S related to F? How is S related to F? F's father is M. Father's sister. Father's sister is aunt. Aunt that is choice four. Question number five, it is choice four. Then question number six onwards. Now in this question number six, what is given in this one? Eight people. Now eight people, E, F, G, H, L, M, N, O, live on eight different floors of a building number one and so on, isn't it? Eight persons living on eight different floors and the ground floor is floor number one, the floor above the ground floor is floor number two and so on, isn't it? No, question number six onwards, it is based on floor arrangement. Hence, so what are the parameters given here? Only the persons is given, isn't it? Only persons is given. Now, how many floors are there? In total, we have some eight floors, eight, hence fix these floors at the center. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 are the 8 floors. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 are the 8 floors here. Now among these 8 floors, how many persons are staying here? 8 persons are staying in these 8 different floors. And G lives on floor number 5. Now G lives on floor number 5. Now we are fixing G at this place. Only 2 people live between G and N. How many persons in between G and N? There are only two people. As two people between G and N, how many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities. N can be on the eighth floor, or if G is on the fifth floor, and two persons in between G and N, N must be on the second floor. And so how many possibilities do we have? Two possibilities for this N. And G lives on floor number five. Only two people live between G and N. As many, live peop as many people live above N, as below h, as many people above n equals to below h, this is how to represent the datum. If there is one person above n, there must be one person below h. If there are two persons staying above n, below this h, there must be two persons. If there is no person above n, and there must be, there should not be any person below h. Isn't it? Hence, these two persons, h and n, must be at equidistant from either n. One and eight. 2 or 7, 3 or 6, isn't it? 4 or 5 and so on. Hence, as in the first case, now this is case number 1 and this is case number 2. Now in the first case, so how many persons are staying above n? Above n, how many are there? There is no one. As there is no person is above n, there should not be any person below h. Hence, h must be on the ground floor. Are you following this one or not? Again, coming to case number 2. Now in case number 2, how many persons are staying above this one? Above this n, there are six persons. As six persons are staying above n, six persons must stay below h. Six persons below h means h must be on the seventh floor. Are you following this one or not? Number of persons above n equals to number of persons below h. This is how to represent the data, isn't it? Then, L lives on an odd number floor. L lives on an odd number floor immediately above o. L is odd number floor and immediately above whom? Above O. Hence, E O must be on an even number floor. Now, L and O, now in this one. In the first case, so how many possibilities do we have for this L and O? 
there are two cases. L and O can be here. That is one possibility. Then what is the second possibility here? N, G, and H. And again, L and O. Now L and O can be here as well. How many possibilities are there in the first case? There are two possibilities for L and O. L and O can be on 7 and 6 or 3 and 2. Then coming to this one, L and O. L cannot be, L must be an odd number floor. L cannot be on the 8th floor. Cannot be here and it cannot be here. And what is the only possibility here? L must be on the third floor. If L is on the third floor, O must be on the second floor, which is not possible. Hence, L cannot be here as well. As L cannot be here and L cannot be here as well, there is no place left for this L at all. Finally, we are left with only two cases and two possibilities in case one itself. Isn't it? Then, after this one, L is on an odd number floor immediately above O. More than three people between O and F. More than three people between O and F. Now, sir, in this case, in this possibility, if you take more than three, one, two, three, F, at the most, F can be here. Isn't it? That is the maximum possibility. Now, if you write M, F at this place, then uh, how many persons are in between O and F? There are only three persons. But as the condition is that between O and F, there must be more than three. Four persons could be, or five persons, or six persons. Hence, this case is also ruled out. Because between O and F, we are having only three, but not more than three. Now, here it is clearly given more than three people. As O is on the second floor, one, two, three, four, hence F must be at this place. Then only more than three is possible. Isn't it? E lives on one of the floors below M. As E lives on one of the floors below M, M is on the sixth floor and E is on the fourth floor. Done with this? Now this is the final arrangement. N, F, M, G, E, L, O, H. Then in this one, question number six, who among the following lives on floor number three? As tell me who is living on floor number three? L. L, that is choice four. Then question number seven, which of the following is true regarding F? As tell me which among the following is true, only four people live below F. Is it true? False, because there are some six persons below F, and M lives immediately below the floor on which F lives. M is immediately below the floor on which F lives, that is choice two. Then question number eight, now, who among the following lives immediately above N? Immediately above N, is there any person here? No, because N himself is, is staying on the top floor. No one as N lives on the topmost floor. Then question number nine. How many people live between the floors on which M and G live? Tell me how many persons are in between M and G? There is no person in between M and G. No person that is choice for none of this. Then question number 10. On which of the following floor numbers does E live? Tell me. E lives on which floor? E lives on fourth floor. That is choice three is the answer. Question number 10, choice three. Yes, any doubts in these five? Six to 10. Then question numbers 11 onwards. Now question number 11, what is given in this one, 11th one? Sequence. Now it is based on a sequence, 11 to 15. Now, sequence of letters, symbols, and numbers were given in this, isn't it? Now, question numbers 11 to 15. Now, in this question number 11, what should come in place of the question mark in the following series based on the given arrangement? Now, what is the arrangement here? 2R, 2R, D, copyright, 2R, D, copyright, I, W, L, M. I, W, L, M. Now, this is what the information we have. Then, 2 and R. What is the relation between 2 and R here? 2 to R. Now we are moving 2 steps backwards, 2 elements backwards, minus 2. And again, sorry, 2 and D. Now where is D here? 2 and D, let us check out, rather than 2 and R. Now 2 and D, how many elements it is moving backwards here? 3 elements, 1, 2 and 3, minus 3. And D and I, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. I and L, 1, 2, 3, minus 3, isn't it? I2, L, minus 3. Again, L minus 3. 1, 2, 3. What is the first element here? First element must be U. Among the given choices, first element U is there in two choices. Then coming to the next one, the relation between R and copyright. Between R and copyright, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. Again, copyright and W, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. And W and M, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. And finally, 1, 2, 3, that is 6. Then what is your answer here? U6, that is choice 5. Question number 11, 
from the first elements in each of these pairs, three elements were subtracted, and same is the case with the second elements as well. Minus three, minus three, minus three. That is choice five. Then question number 12. Now in this question number 12, four out of the following. Four out of the following is nothing but an odd man out, isn't it? That means odd man out means four follows a particular pattern and one does not follow that pattern. Then tell me what is the answer here? Four out of the following, M, I, W. Yes, what happened to this one? M, I, and W, M, 2, I. M, 2, I, how many elements were moving forward? One, two, three, four, five. M plus five is I. And I and W, again we are going backwards. I and W, 1, 2, minus 2. Hence, plus 5, minus 2. Then coming to the next one, S, G, and K. Now in this S, G, and K, now the elements between S and G. S, 2, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4, isn't it? And plus 4. And G and K, what is the element here? 1, 2, minus 2. Plus 4, minus 2. Then coming to the next one, J, D, copyright. Now in this J, D, and copyright, now J and D, what is the difference here? 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. Here plus 4. And copyright and D, how many, what is the difference here? Copyright and D. Here it is. D and copyright. D and copyright, it is minus 2. Then what is the answer here? Plus 4 minus 2, plus 4 minus 2 is constant. But here it is. Now in the first one, it is plus 5 minus 2. And it is given in choice 1. Done with this? Yes? No. Yes, is this clear now? Then coming to the fourth one, if you check out here, n at the rate of n. Now first, m and i, what is the difference here? m to i, m to i, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is plus 5. Then coming to the next one, n at the rate of n. Now if you take n at the rate of 9, n and at the rate of, what is the difference? Tell me. n and at the rate of, from n, and at the rate of and 1, 2, 3, 4, here it is plus 4, and at the rate of and 9, here it again it is minus 2. And finally, percentage B and 7. Now, percentage and B, what is the difference here? 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4, and B and 7, it is minus 2. Then, what is the answer here? Choice 1 is the answer, isn't it? Except choice 1. And in the remaining, it is plus 4, minus 2, plus 4, minus 2, plus 4, minus 2. But where is in this one? It is plus 5 minus 2. Hence, that is the odd one. Clear now? Hence, this is about question number 12. As the last benches, can you hear me? As now? Is it okay? Now. And this is about question number 12. Then 13 onwards. Now question number 13, any answer with this one, 13th one? Hence in this, as one more time. Now in these odd man out of type of questions, four out of the following. First we got plus five minus two, here we got plus four minus two, and here we got plus four minus two. There itself we can finalize the answer, no need to check out these two, because now except one, the remaining must be same. Now these two are different and these two are same, hence this must be different to the remaining, okay? As the key is given wrong, hence we have checked out the remaining as well. But whereas in general, it is not at all required. Then question number 14. Now in this question number 14, if all the letters are dropped from the arrangement, which of the following will be ninth from the right? Now count all the elements without the letters from the right hand side, ninth element. Without the letters, ninth element from the right. Then tell me, one, isn't it? One, and this is two, three. Next, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. As yes, what is the ninth element from the right? 4. That is choice 5. Then question number 15. How many such consonants are there? Now the question is about what? Consonant. Now I am representing a consonant with C. Are there in the given arrangement, each of which is immediately preceded by a symbol. Preceding means coming before this one and also immediately followed by a number. And the given sequence must be Symbol, consonant, and a number. Isn't it? Symbol, consonant, and a number. As tell me how many are there. Symbol, 
consonant. Now this is a symbol not followed by consonant. Now this is a symbol followed by consonant, but there is no number after this. Hence, these two cannot be your answer. And symbol, and this is followed by a vowel. And symbol, consonant, but is not followed by a number. Symbol is not followed by consonant, symbol followed by vowel. Next one, symbol followed by symbol. And symbol followed by consonant, but not number. And so what is the answer here? None. None, that is choice one. Now question number 15. There is no such consonant which is immediately preceded by a symbol and followed by a number in the given sequence. Then question number 16 onwards. Now in this question number 16, 16 to 20, how many boxes are there? There are some seven boxes, S, T, U, V, W, X, and Y, stacked one above the other. Only four boxes are kept in between T and W. How many are there in between T and W? There, is, there are exactly four in between T and W. Now let us write like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is how these seven boxes are stacked one above the other. And in between T and W, how many are there? In between T and W, there are exactly four. In between T and W, there are exactly four. Only four in between T and W. Only two in between W and Y. Now if you take T at this place, one, two, three, four, W will be here, isn't it? And if you take W at this place, one, two, three, four, T will be here. Between T and W, which is above, which box is above, which box is not clearly given. Hence, either T can be above W or W can be above T, isn't it? Hence, we have two possibilities for this one. And again, what is the other information here? There are two boxes between W and Y. As there are two boxes between W and Y, tell me whether this Y can be after this W. If Y is after this W, then how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes were there. Isn't it? Hence it cannot be the case. And similarly in the second case, Y cannot be before this W. If Y is before this W, then we are having nine boxes rather than seven boxes. Hence what can you infer from this one? This Y must be in between T and W. Clear now? As Y is in between T and W, then let us fix this arrangement. Now, if you take T at this place, 1, 2, 3, 4, W will be at this place, isn't it? And what is the second case here? And if you take W at this place, W at this place, 1, 2, 3, 4, T can be here. And this is one possibility. The second possibility is also there. What is the second possibility? T, 2 and 7, isn't it? 7 and 2. First, let us work out with this one. Between T and W, how many are there? There are four. And between W and Y, there must be exactly two. This is case one. And in this case two, this Y must be on floor number. Now this Y must be the fourth box. Only two boxes between W and Y. Only one box is between U and V. In between U and V, there is one box, and U is kept above V. U is kept above V. There is only one between U and V. One between U and V, and U is above V. And U is not on the topmost floor. U is not on the topmost floor, and U is not kept immediately above Y. As U is not kept immediately above Y, U cannot be here in this case. Now in this case, U cannot be here as well. Now let us check out the position for this U. As U cannot be here, and U cannot be here as well. Because if U is here, then V and W must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, where should this U? U must be on the fifth one, and V must be on the seventh one, isn't it? And in coming to this one, U cannot be here, and U is not, and U is on, not on the topmost floor box, and U cannot be here as well, because if U is here, then Y and V must be in the same place. Hence, in this case, U is here, and V is here. In both the cases, U and V must be on five and seven. Done with this? Then, U is not kept immediately above Y. Number of boxes between T and V same as that of W and S. T and V equals to W and S. Number of boxes in between T and V equals to V and S. Now, in this case, how many boxes are in between T and V? There are six boxes. Hence, between W and S also, we should have six boxes. Is it possible? No. Maximum, how many are possible here? Only three are possible. And the first case is completely ruled out. Then coming to this one, here T and V are adjacent to each other, isn't it? Hence, double, hence 
how many boxes are there in between T and V? There is no box. Hence, between W and S also, there should not be any box. Hence, where should this S? S must be here. Are you following or not? Number of boxes in between T and V is zero, and number of boxes in between W and S is also zero. Then what is left over here? X is left over. Hence, X must be here. Done with this? Now, this is the final arrangement to this. Then question number 16, what is the position of box X in the given arrangement? Now box X, where is this box X here? Box X is on third, isn't it? That means third from the top, immediately below T, and next one immediately above S, and next one, second from the top, third from the top definitely to that is choice four. Now question number 16, it is choice four, 17th one. How many boxes are there in between U and V? As tell me how many are there in between U and V? There is no, none that is choice five. Then question number 18, which of the following is or are true with respect to the given arrangements? X is kept below S, yes. definitely true or not? S, yes. choice one. Then along with one, what else is also there? Along with one, three is also there, both one and three. Now, W is kept at the topmost, that is also true. Then what is your answer here? Both 1 and 3, that is choice 2. Then, next one, question number 19. Which of the following boxes is kept at the topmost box? Topmost box is W, that is choice 3. And question number 20, which of the following boxes are kept below T? Below T, only V, that is choice 1. Only V, choice 1. And this is about question number 20. Then 21 to 25, as what is there in this 21 to 23. Now question numbers 21 to 23, these questions are based on directions. Now three questions are given on this one, directions. And Soham starts from point A, walks six meters towards north. Now this is point A. From here, this person started and traveled six meters towards north and reaches and reaches point B. This is point B, which is six meters north of point A. And he then takes a right turn and walks 13 meters and reaches point C. From here, now he travels 13 meters and reaches point C towards his right hand side. Then, he then takes a right turn, walks 13 meters and reaches point D. From here, and the 13 meters and reaches point D. Isn't it? Point D. He then takes another right turn, walks eight minutes. From here, he traveled eight meters towards his right hand side and reaches point E, eight meters. And he takes a final right turn and walks seven meters. Final right turn and walks how many meters? Seven meters and reaches point F. Now this is point F. Now if you check out this one. Now this is seven meters towards north. Now this is six meters towards north. Now I'm taking the vertical direction here. Now vertical direction, these two vertical directions, seven and six are both these two are towards north. Same direction, hence we should add this one. Six plus seven is 13. Then what happened to this one? This is 13 towards south. 13 north and 13 south means these two are opposite directions. Opposite directions, then what should we do here? Then it is subtraction. And the vertical distance has become zero. As the vertical distance has become zero, now we are left with only the horizontal distance. As what is the horizontal distance here? This is 13 towards east and eight towards west. And so this must be five in between A and F. Done with this? Then question number 21st, if point Z is 10 meters to the west of point C. Z is 10 meters to the west of point C from here. 10 meters winds so somewhere will be here. Now between Z and B, the distance is only three meters because the total is 13. Out of which C and Z is 10. Then in which direction to point Z? B with respect to point E. Z with respect to E, now this is north and this is west, northwest. Northwest, so that is given in choice five. Now question number 21st to choice 5, then 22nd. Now in this question number 22, in which direction is point D with respect to point A? D with respect to A. Now this is north, south and east, southeast. Southeast choice 1. 22nd, southeast choice 1. Then 23rd. How far and in which direction is point A with respect to point F? A is 5 meters to the west of point F. 5 meters west, that is choice 5, 23rd choice 5. 
done with this now this is about three questions based on these directions then 24 onwards now question number 24 24 to 28 now five questions are there now these five questions are based on what coding and decoding first we need to identify the codes for each and every word in the given sentences now in total how many sentences are there there are some four sentences in each of these sentences there are four four words now may be drawn here what are drawn from well yes what is the word which is common here drawn is the word which is common between these two as drawn is the word which is common between these two f u l i k a s a and k a is the code which is common and the code to the word drawn is k a isn't it now similarly in the last sentence fourth sentence as well there is drawn and k a and the code to the word drawn is k now this is about one and two then if you compare one and three may be here and what is the word which is common here b is the word which is common between these two and what is the code common between the first and the third sentence sc and the code to the word b is sc b is sc then compare the first one and the fourth one may and here are the two elements given are in there in the first one but whereas in none of the remaining sentences this may and here are repeated hence what are the codes for these two may and here could be may and here could be what may and here could be either f u or l i in any order f u l i done with this f u and l i then compare the second and the third water from well water from well what is the word which is common here well is the word which is common as well is the word which is common and what is the code common here b r and the code to the word well is b r well is b r isn't it well is b r then compare the second and the fourth from and water from and water what is the word which is common here from is the word which is common between the second and the fourth and what is the code common between these two vc and mt mt is common and the code to the word from is mt then coming back to sentence two now in this one water is the only word left over isn't it and what is the code left over in this one and the code to the word water is vc water vc water is vc then now coming to this one the third and the fourth and what is the word which is common between these two happy is the only word which is common as a happy is the word which is common and what is the code common here db and the code to the word happy is db happy db is also happy and db then in this one what is left over here and is the word left over and what is the code left over here x y is a code left over and similarly in this one result is left over result is the word left over in statement four and what is the code left over gb now these are the words and their corresponding codes done with this then question number 24 what is the code for the word result yes tell me what is the code here gb that is choice for then question number 25 what does the code li stand for now this word li stands for either may or here may or here choice one then question number 26 what is the code for from in the given code language the code for from is mt mt that is given in choice three then question number 27 which of the following may represent water and a drought water is vc and is xy vc and xy must be there vc and xy and for this one drought this word drought is nowhere given in the statement isn't it and the code for this drought must be any code other than the given codes hence now tell me vc and xy choice one cannot be your answer choice two vc xy is there and in choice three vc xy is there and choice four and choice five vc xy is there now choice one and four are ruled out now we are left with the two three and five now among these three now can fu be the code for draw tell me no why because f u is a code for either may or here but not but is not the code for drought hence choice two cannot be answer then tell me whether p o can be the code for drought or not yes it can be why because it is nowhere given in the code and it can be the code for drought and coming to choice five g v is there can g v be the code no because the code for g v is result this is also ruled out finally we are left with only choice three 
isn't it? Then question number 28. Now in this question number 28, what is the code for be happy? What is the code for B here? B is SC and a happy. And the code for a happy is DB. SA, DB in any order. SA, DB in any order, it is choice one. Now this is about question number 28. Done with this? Then 29th one. If it is possible to make, no word formation. If it is possible to make meaningful word with the second, third and the sixth letters. From the letters of the word interest. Interest, what is the second letter here? N. And what is the third letter here? Third letter is T. And the next one, sixth letter, three, four, five, six is. Now, how many words that can be found with the help of these three? Two. What are those three? An ET net. Next one, T, E, N, ten. And so how many words that can be formed by using each letter exactly once? Isn't it? All the letters should be used. And again, using each letter only one, two words can be formed. As two words can be formed, then what is the corresponding choice? Which would be the second letter of the word? If more than one such word can be formed, give X. How many words that can be formed? Two. Hence, what is your choice? X choice five. More than one such word can be formed, mark your answer as X. And this is about question number 29. Then coming to question number 30. Now in this question number 30, among six friends, B is taller than A and C, but shorter than Q. How many friends are there? There are six in total. Now these three, six can be written like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. And among these six, B is taller than both A and C. Between A and C, who is taller than whom is not clearly gone, clearly given. Hence, we can represent this one like this. B is taller than both these two persons, A and C, but shorter than Q. Who is shorter than Q? B is shorter than Q. And Q is shorter than M as well. Q is shorter than M. Hence, M is taller than at least four persons, A, C, B, and Q. And R is taller than C. As R is taller than C, R is taller than C, M is not the tallest. As M is not the tallest, M cannot be at this place. M cannot be tallest, Q cannot be the tallest, B and A and C cannot be the tallest. Then who is the person that must be tallest here? R is the tallest. Hence, R must be at the first place. Isn't it? As R is at the first place, and the remaining must be M, Next one is Q, and this is B, and A and C in any order. M R is taller than C. As R is taller than C in both the cases, it is valid. Who among them is the third tallest? Tell me who is the third tallest here? Q is the third tallest. Either A or C can be here. A or C can be here. But whereas in both the cases, and Q is the third tallest. Third tallest that is given in choice five. Question number 30, choice five. Then question number 31. Now in this question number 31, what is the information here? Joya correctly remember that she had an exam before October but after April. Before October but April, after April, then how many months are there in between? After April means May, June, July, isn't it? August, September. Hence, how many months are there? There are five months together. And exam before October but after April. And Mina correctly remember that Joya had her exam after February but before July. Before July and after February and July, August and September were ruled out. And so what are those days? May and June. And in which month did Joya definitely had her exam? Either it could be in the month of May or June. Choice one. Done with this study first. Then question number 32 onwards. Now in this question number 32 onwards, this comes under coded inequalities. Now the relation between D and M. Between D and M, there is one lesser than, one greater than, hence two opposite symbols, no relation. Hence first conclusion cannot be drawn. Then the relation between I and Q. I lesser than Q, Q greater than I. Only two follows, only two, that is choice five. Question number 32, choice five. Then coming to 33, P and S. Now the relation between P and S, P is here and S is here. Now these two letters P and S are in two different statements. Then what is the letter which is common between these two P and S? J is the letter which is common. Now we need to relate this J with both this S and P. S greater than or equals to J. 
P greater than J means J is less than P. Hence, between S and P, one greater than, one lesser than. Hence, two opposite symbols. Two opposite symbols, no relation can be drawn. Isn't it? No relation. Then what is the next one here? Then coming to C and Q. Now, between C and Q, again the letter which is common is J is common. Now, J lesser than C. And J lesser than Q means Q greater than J. One greater than, one lesser than. Two opposite symbols again, hence no relation can be drawn. Hence neither one nor two. It is choice two. 33 choice two. Then question number 34. Now in this 34, the relation between N and P. P is here, N is here. Between P and N, forget about this equals to. And which symbol is common? Greater than or equals. Hence P greater than or equals to N. That's what the conclusion we got. And it is nothing but N less than or equals to P. That is conclusion one definitely two. Then coming to the second one, the relation between T and E. Now, the relation between T and E, between T and E, one greater than, one lesser than, two opposite symbols, no relation. Then what is your answer? Only conclusion one follows. Only one choice three. Then, question number 35. Now, in this question number 35, the relation between C and L. Now, between C and L, which symbol is common here, forget about this, equals to C greater than L means L less than C is definitely true. Then coming to the next one, the relation between L and V, L less than M less than V, L less than V is true, V greater than L is also true. Then what is the answer here? Both the conclusions follow, choice 4. Now this is about question number 31 to 35. Done? Then afterwards, question number 36 onwards. Now in this question number 36, now question number 36, yes, so how many of you have done this one, question number 36? A, B, C, D and E were five executors of a company X and each belong to five different, five different states and each one of them, each one of them belongs to five different states states and each one was an international player and was associated with different games. Yes, so how many parameters are there in this one? Tell me the number of parameters. Now the number of parameters in this one is now one is the player A, B, C, D and E and the game and the state they which they belong and the game and the city. Hence in total how many parameters? We have some four parameters in this. Clear now? Now let us start with this one. A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E were five executives of a company and each one of them international player but was And each one was an international player, but was associated with different games, isn't it? Then, they once gathered at Delhi Station with the purpose to travel to five different places, isn't it? Now, let us represent the data. What is the first one here? Now, the persons I'm fixing here. Who are the persons? Yes, so how many of you have done this one? 36 to 40, those who have completed, please raise your hands. One, anyone else apart from that girl? Now in this one, A, B, C, D, and E were five executives of a company. Now the states. Now the states were given as the first parameter. How many parameters are there? State, city, game, and the tea or coffee they like. Isn't it? Hence, in total, we have some four parameters. Now the first one is the state. And the next one is the city to which they belong and the beverages they take, that is either tea or coffee. And finally, the game they are playing. Hence, in total, how many parameters are there? There are four parameters. As the number of parameters is more, it comes under four parameter distribution. Hence, as it comes under four parameter distribution, now we should solve this one with the help of what? Now we should start solving this one with the help of this grid type of arrangement, isn't it? Then, 
what is the first information here? And they once gathered at Delhi railway station. Delhi railway station with a purpose to travel to five different places. Now they are traveling to five different places. And before departure, they decided. Before departure, they have decided. Before departure, they decided to take hot beverages. One person who was associated with basketball preferred tea over coffee. Isn't it? Now, how many persons are there? Five persons. Among these five persons, there is one person who is preferring tea over coffee. That means the remaining four persons are preferring coffee only. Four persons are drinking coffee and only one person who is drinking tea. And the person who is drinking tea, drinking, drinking tea, and associated with what? Basketball. Now tea and basketball must be together. Tea and basketball. Now I am representing this basketball with the baby. Done with this? Now as of now we do not have any information. If A likes tea, then he plays basketball. If B likes tea, then he plays basketball and so on. Then who is playing tea? Who is playing basketball is not known. Hence we cannot able to determine the data as of now. Hence represent the data like this, then the four persons who took coffee, where? Who are those four persons who took coffee here? The four persons who took coffee. Now there are four persons who took coffee. And who are those four persons? A. The person belongs to Punjab. Now listen this very carefully. A. Whether A can be the person from Punjab. No, why it is no? Because here he is talking about four different persons. Who are those four persons? A is one. The person belongs to Punjab is one. And the next one, the person and the one who had to travel to Bangalore is one. And, and the next one, and who is was associated with tennis. That means four different persons. And these four different persons are what? One is, one is A, another one is Bangalore, Punjab, and the next one is tennis. Then tell me whether A can be Bangalore, A cannot be Bangalore, and A does not belong to Punjab, and A cannot play tennis, isn't it? Hence, because A likes coffee, A likes, co A likes tea or coffee, that is not known. Now the four persons who took coffee were A, and A took what? A took coffee. Now the four persons who took coffee are A, A is one, then A took coffee, and who are the remaining persons who took coffee? Now the one who belongs to Bangalore is coffee, and the one who belongs to Punjab is coffee, isn't it? And the one who belongs to A is coffee, Co Bangalore, Punjab, and the person who is associated with tennis is also coffee. Hence, these four persons are different to each other, isn't it? Then, next one, D did not take T. Now, what about this D? D did not take T. How many possibilities we have, either T or coffee? As is D did not take T, hence this D must be coffee. D did not take T and I had to travel to Mumbai. Now, this person is traveling to which place? This person is traveling to Mumbai. And this person is traveling to Mumbai, Mumbai. D was found busy in conversation with his friend whose home state was Punjab, isn't it? Now this D is not Punjab. Are you agreeing this one or not? Why? Because, because he is conversation with, he is talking with one more person. Who is that person? His friend. And that person belongs to Punjab. As that person belongs to Punjab, D does not belong to Punjab. D does not belong to Punjab, isn't it? Isn't it? D does not belong to Punjab. And D does not belong to Bangalore. Are you agreeing this one or not? Why? Because D is already from Mumbai. He does not belong to Bangalore. And D cannot be A as well because A and D are two different persons. Are you following this one or not? Among those four persons who likes coffee, this D cannot be A, and this D cannot be from Bangalore, and this D cannot be from Punjab. And so what is the only thing left over here? This D must be, this D must play tennis. Follow here or later. Yes? Chapan follow to Naraleda. You can Naluguru persons separate separate your mart led. Ever on Nalugu Japani, Ye and Ever Dokudu, Punjabic Chendinwadokudu, Bangalore Chendinwadokudu, 
టెన్నిస్ ఆడేవాడు ఒకడు ఈ నలుగురు నాలుగు ఇజనెట్ అందులో మనకి డిఎన్టి ముంబైకి చెందాడు కాఫీ ఉంది ముంబై ఉంది ముంబై ఉంది కాబట్టి బెంగళూరు అప్పుడు అట్ ద సేమ్ టైం నెక్స్ట్ పంజాబ్ అప్పుడు పంజాబ్ ఎందుకు ఎవరు చెప్పండి వాడు వాళ్ళు ఫ్రెండ్తో మాట్లాడుతాను ఆ ఫ్రెండ్ పంజాబ్ అంటారు కనుక పంజాబ్ అవుడు బెంగళూరు అవుడు నెక్స్ట్ వన్ టెన్నిస్ అండ్ దిస్ వన్ టెన్నిస్ అండ్ ఇది అవుతుందో మనకి నా బెంగళూరు ఏ ఏ కూడా అవుడు బికాస్ ఏ అండ్ డిఆర్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ పర్సన్ అండ్ ఫైనలీ వాట్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ హియర్ దిస్ డి మస్ట్ ప్లే విచ్ గేమ్ దిస్ డి మస్ట్ ప్లే టెన్నిస్ ఫాలో అవుతున్నారో లేదండి దిస్ డి మస్ట్ ప్లే టెన్నిస్ నా దిస్ వన్ వీ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు ఇన్ఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద గివెన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ దెన్ డి వాజ్ ఫోన్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ విత్ హిస్ ఫ్రెండ్ whose home state was mumbai and was one of the five executors done as of now then coming to the next information that is condition number 5 now in this condition number 5 now b had to travel to bhopal now whatever this b now this b had to travel to bhopal now the city is fixed here bhopal as this b has to travel to bhopal he did not take tea as this person did not take tea this person b must take coffee because there are only only two beverages four coffee and one tea now this one as this b is taking coffee then again let us check out here a cannot be b isn't it the first thing is ruled out and whether this b can be from bangalore no why because this person is from bhopal and so bangalore is ruled out then can this person play tennis as tell me whether b plays tennis or not no why because d is already play tennis among these four persons who are taking coffee this b cannot be a and this b cannot be from bangalore and this b cannot play tennis isn't it now what is the only thing left over here this b must be b must be from which place punjab b must be from punjab follow outunara ledha adhe information meda draw chestunna mottham anta and b is punjab now b had to travel to bhopal and he did not take tea and e was not associated with cricket now e was not associated with cricket hence cricket is ruled out here done with this e was not associated with cricket and he did not take tea e was not associated with cricket volleyball or football cricket volleyball and football all these three are ruled out as all these three are ruled out now this e is not playing cricket and is not playing volleyball and is not playing football now how many are left over here only two more are left over what are those two one is basketball and another one is tennis out of which this d whether this e can play tennis as whether e can play tennis or not no why because d is already playing tennis and among the five games this d this e cannot play these four games and what is the only thing left over here only one game that is basketball as this e plays basketball and this e is liking which one t as this e likes t the remaining four persons must be coffee as the remaining four who likes coffee one is a and another one must be bangalore one is punjab is already done b and the another one is d that is tennis then who is left over here only c is left over and this c must belongs to which state now this c must belong this c is going to bangalore are you following or not okay now we have we could able to finalize these three then next one what is the next information here cricket volleyball or football but the person who had to travel to calcutta was associated with cricket now calcutta and cricket are together the city is calcutta and the game is cricket as the game is cricket now kolkata and cricket must be together then tell me who is that person who is playing a why this a why can't it be e now e is not playing cricket that is clearly given as e cannot play cricket and this b and c can also cannot play cricket as well because cricket and kolkata must be together b c and d are play are from different cities hence the only possibility is a and a is from a is going to kolkata and what is the game here the game he is playing is cricket now this is also finalized now and the person but the person who had to travel to kolkata was associated with cricket and the person whose home state was kerala was associated with football kerala and football must be together 
Now, what is the next information here? Kerala and football. As Kerala and football, then what is left over here? Football can be either B or C, either B or C. Out of which B cannot be from Kerala. Why? Because B is already from the state Punjab. As B cannot be Kerala, and so who will be from Kerala? C is from Kerala. If C is from Kerala, now this C is what? C is from Kerala and associated with what? Associated with football. Now this person is playing football. Cricket, football, tennis, basketball, done. Now we are left with what? Only volleyball. And who is that person who is playing volleyball? That is none other than B. And Kerala football done. D did not belong to Bihar. As D did not belong to Bihar, either A or E can be from Bihar, isn't it? Either A or E is from Bihar. The executive whose home state was Bihar took coffee. Now, D is not from Bihar, either A or E is from Bihar, and out of which E also is not from Bihar. Are you agreeing this one or not? Why? Because the person from Bihar is taking coffee. But whereas as E is taking tea, he cannot be okay from Bihar. And so who is the person from Bihar? A is the person from Bihar. If A is from Bihar, then and A D did not belong to Bihar, and the executive from Bihar took coffee. The person whose home state was MP had to travel to a city which is not Chennai. MP is not Chennai, isn't it? Now, what is the city left over here? Chennai is the only city left over. And who is traveling to Chennai? E. And e, tra e is traveling to Chennai. As E is traveling to Chennai, the person who is traveling to Chennai does not belong to Madhya Pradesh. Then who will be from Madhya Pradesh? D is from Madhya Pradesh. If D is from Madhya Pradesh, then what is the state left over here? Andhra Pradesh, that is E is I think. Isn't it? Now we have read the information only once. All entire information is drawn from this statement only. Four persons who are copy. Akkanuncha Rajesha Matwani. Clear now? Hence, after going to your home, please work out this one at least two to three times. Today, two to three times. And after this one, keep it aside. And again, on Sunday, again, try to work out this one without seeing the solution. Isn't it? And this is for, again, for practice. Now, during this week, what are the puzzles you could not able to solve or what are the question, what are the puzzles you feel a little bit difficult, okay? Please solve that one on the day itself. And again, coming Sunday, keep that one for revision. This is how you should practice, okay? In one week, low. one week, low, seven papers, six papers, discuss just together. Six papers, low, kun easy go on us. Kun ni puzzles say the manak difficult on us. Manak exam the rock portion. I explain Jason Rose, Mali practice chain. Mali, when no revision can be test on Sunday, when Nickel Poker Sergey. Allow me to learn to revision Sunday of Pakan Petkuna and Kundi, Manak exam Kucha, I mean Kanisha Manko Nalaway have a papal the Arab. I went no search is going to make sir potent. Clear? Mirala strategy and fall out less. This called the Nora Molnabares in our paper. On a garden. Inca Molnabaret leather, Inca Kotan Kundamir. Image the Dana Yeramiru. And give me their paper link of form color. Oh, yeah, we have a mirror model of aesthetic. Clear? Now, this is about question numbers 36 to 40. First today, and which strategy I build up chess con. A with and go practice. Say, you're learning. And again, the number of posts to talk to night, completion period on the on the candidate. Mir first today, and which is E. Atmosphere Calavada A pair and condi. At the most three to four months low, prelims clear a main sorke el potter. Clear? Then. Question number 36. Now in this question number 36, which of the following clues is not necessary to answer the question? As tell me which, uh, which is not required here? No. Tell me which is not required. All the statements are required. Now we have read from top to bottom. We have covered all the statements, isn't it? Hence all are required. All are necessary, that is choice five. Then question number 37. The person whose home state is Bihar, is Bihar is, who is the person from Bihar? A, that is choice three. Then question number 38. B is associated with which game? B is associated with volleyball. Volleyball, that is choice three. 38, choice three, and 39. 
the person who had to go to Bhopal is associated with. Bhopal is associated with whom? Bhopal associated with Punjab. Punjab that is choice 3 again. And question number 40. Now which of the following combinations is not correctly matched? That means which of the following combinations is false? And A, Bihar, Kolkata, Cricket, Coffee. A, Bihar, Kolkata, Cricket, Coffee, that is true. B, Punjab. B, Punjab, Bhopal, Volleyball, Coffee, this is also true. C, Kerala, Bangalore, Bangalore, Football and Coffee, this is also true. And D, MP, Mumbai, Tennis, Coffee, this is also true. And obviously, 5. E, AP, Chennai. Chennai and Basketball, this person is, is taking tea rather than coffee. Then what is the answer here? Choice, fine. Now this is about question number 36 to 40. And in fact, 1 to 14, paper number 20600. Done with this? Yes, any doubts in question numbers 1 to 40? Chapman, 1 to 40, then any doubts in the chapter? Question numbers 1 to 40. Then, yes, number series done? Or shall I explain this one, number series? Yes, number series. Chapman, I pin the discussion, I pin the? 51. Yes, question numbers please, question numbers 50 onwards. Now number series, question numbers 50 onwards. Now what is there in this one, question number 50? Now 4, 58. Now question number 50, 53, 112. Now 53, 112, 228, 458. Now if you observe here, the numbers are in the decreasing order. Whenever the numbers are in the decreasing order, we should always start in the reverse order. 53, 112, 228, and next one is 458. Now as the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, it must be under multiplication or combination. Multiplication is not possible, hence combination. 53 into 2 is so much, 106 plus 6, 106 plus 6 is 112. And again, 112 into how much? 224 plus 6 is 228. Now 228 into 2, 56, isn't it? Then 228 and into 2 is how much upon 4, 56, isn't it? Plus how much? Plus 2 is no? Next. Into 2 plus 6, 112 into 2 is how much? 24. 24, this will be plus 2, plus 4. Now into 2 plus 6, into 2 plus 4, isn't it? And this is into 2 plus 2. Is that enough? Now into 2 plus 2, into 2 plus 4, and the next one must be into 2 plus 8, must be 53. 53 minus 8 is how much? 53 minus 8? 53 minus 8. 2, 4, 6. And those in Japan, 2, 4, 6, 53 minus 8, 45. And 45 divided by 2 is how much? 22.5. Now 22.5 into 2 plus 8. And so what is the number here? 22.5, that is choice 1. Let's yes, write down this. Then, question number 51. As yes, in this 51, what is given here? 2, 17, 30, 41. All these numbers are increasing at a very smaller rate. Hence, it must be under difference. What is the difference here? 15. And the next difference is so much? 13. And the next difference is so much? 11. 15, 13, 11. And now these numbers are what? These numbers are odd numbers in the decreasing order. And the next one must be plus 9. 41 plus 9, 50 is the answer. Isn't it? 50. And 50 is not there. And 50 is the correct number here. There is no other possibility to this one at all. Okay? 15. 30, 11, next one is 15, 13, 11, 9, odd numbers. Now, sir, what is the key given here? Key 48. 48 in the kitchen, Japmandara? Now, sir, Ekraman came to 41. Tara de men Japan plus 7 is Kuna. Plus 7 in the Tiskuna, 13, 11, 7 and the prime numbers can the Tiskuna. Ala Tiskoja, Tisko, in the go 15 on. If 15 lay than Kundi, Manam prime number kills. And 15 is not an odd number. Isn't it? It is not a prime number. Isn't it? And the 48 is. And the choice I mentioned, 48. And that is the reason why they have given 48. 
okay and it is not the correct one and the correct one is these numbers are odd numbers if 15 is not there then we can opt for that 7 plus 7 13 11 7 5 3 all these are prime numbers in the descending order but as here 15 is a composite odd number hence all the numbers must be odd numbers only done with this hence in the place of 48 write it as 50 now this is about question number 51 then 52 as question number 52, any answer to this one, 52? Now the difference between these numbers, 10 and 17. Again, the numbers are increasing at a very smaller rate. Hence, it must be under difference. 42 blank 95. Now 10 and 17 plus 7. 17 plus 10 is 27. 27 plus how much? 15. Now 7, 10, 15. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 3, 5. And the next one must be 7. 15 plus 7 is how much? 22. Hence, what is the answer here? 64. 64 choice 1. Question number 52, it is choice 1, 64. Then 53. Now, in this question number 53, 101, blank, 90, 123, 79, 134. Then in this one, now the numbers. Now, if you observe here, the numbers are in the increasing and decreasing order. As the numbers are in the increasing and decreasing order, we must opt for which logic. In the Kumundaman discussion, it's all clear. Alternate, fine. Now, we should go for the alternate. Now, 101, 90, 79, all this comes under one category. 101 and 90, here it is minus 11. 90 and 79. Here again, it is minus 11. Minus 11, 79 minus 11. Hence, alternate numbers follows a particular pattern. And here also, alternate numbers follow a particular pattern. 123 plus how much is 134 plus 11. Hence, 112 plus 11 is 123. Sarpinda? Hence, whenever the numbers are in the increasing and decreasing, then we should always go for alternate. Most of the logics are based on alternate only. Now, in these type of questions, while solving this one, first we are focusing on what? First we are focusing on. Then we the focus just on Japan. A model lock was no first to identify just now. Model lock was a final age. I pay the don't love my logic to other guys. Ladies and good, pretty question. Can you models me discuss here? Difference, product, combination, alternative. One new work of the energy here and it's all time taking. Clear? First to finalize the logic pattern then finalize the logic and this is about question number 53 then question number 54 54 logic 7 12 7 8 13 27 yes in the mundu chun students have to only one the number is decreased from there onwards the numbers are increasing one came over already it must be 0.5 now it must be multiplied with how much it must be multiplied with 0.5 and 12 into 0.5 is how much? 6 plus 1 is 7. And 7 into 1 plus 1, 8. 8 into 1.5. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 into 2 plus 1, 27. 27 into 2.5 plus 1. How much is that? 27 into 2 is 54. 54 plus 13. 54 plus 13, 67.5. 60 huh? plus 1. That is 60. 8.5, 67.5 plus 1, 68. And this again based on what? The pattern. Okasar number tokwain. Akanunji periyutun. Apuru multiplication kravat. Okay? Into half or into one. Clear now? Inga. Now this is about question number 54, paper number 20600.